Hello, welcome to Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Jo. Have you ever done something so exciting you feel you need to do a little celebration dance or sing a little song or whoop, a little whoop, <laughs> like when you cross the monkey bars for the first time or manage to beat your mummy or daddy in a board game? Well, today's story is about a lady called Miriam who also had a reason to celebrate and the celebration song she sings is in the Bible, in Exodus 15. Shall we dig in my bag to see what clues we have for today? Ooh, party poppers. <laughs> Miriam was Moses' oldest sister, and Moses had just led his people through the Red Sea. Do you remember that awesome story? I tell you what, why don't I tell you a poem that would have been similar to Miriam's song? She was so excited and happy and, and couldn't believe what had just happened. Hey, come on and listen to me. Didn't you notice? We walked through the sea. Hey, come and join the celebration. God has just freed our very own nation. We were made to work in the hot sun. But God called Moses to take us back to pack our stuff into little sacks. And then we had our final feast before we walked towards the east. And oh, what joy when we were free, we danced right through the wide Red Sea. Look at me, I am free, I am free from slavery. God save me and God save you. God's promises are good and true. He is power and he is might. The Egyptians had a fright. He is good and he is great. He loves good and the bad he hates. Baddie stood as the sea was raising. This story couldn't be more amazing. God is great. He has won the fight. He is power and he is might. God is good. He has heard our groans. He is kind. He's going to take us home. Look at us. We're the Israelite gang. Let's celebrate. Set off the bang. <laughs> Brilliant song, Miriam. They must have been so happy. They had been saved in the most spectacular way. Can you imagine being taken home through the sea? Thank you for watching Little Worship Company Bible Time. See you again next time. And remember, when God has a plan for you, he really will move oceans to help you.